doctors with the DPH say the state has come a long way since those early days with testing, treatments, and of course, vaccines. But they also add that doesn't mean COVID is over. Changes coming as the state prepares to end the COVID-19 public health emergency. This is not the end of the pandemic. This is not the end of COVID. This is the end of an emergency phase of COVID-19. The Department of Public Health lifting its mask mandate in healthcare settings. Massachusetts, the last state to do it. What won't change, at least for now, doctors say, is access to COVID vaccines and treatments. On May 11th, folks can still go and get a vaccine wherever they were getting a vaccine before, and the cost of that vaccine will still fall to the federal government. Three years ago, Governor Charlie Baker took steps to battle the novel coronavirus. I'm declaring a state of emergency in Massachusetts. The public health commissioner says the state has come a long way since then. We have a stockpile that didn't exist before that holds necessary personal protective equipment, necessary tests and treatments. Nearly 23,000 people in Massachusetts have died from COVID-19. Doctors didn't say if there is anything that should have been done differently, but they do say the state is better prepared for the next pandemic. We in public health have really built our infrastructure uh, to be stronger and more resilient. We've built our capacity to detect and, and respond to outbreaks. And doctors are asking hospitals to continue to watch the numbers closely, keep an eye on them in case a return to masking is in fact needed. And in the meantime, they're recommending people stay up to date on their vaccinations. We're live here in Boston, Charmin Sketty, WCVB News Center 5.